What's up everyone, this is Mike from My Gadgets World and I'm back with another video and this is the video of the weekend. So I'm gonna discuss about how you can use your LG OLED C10 model as the monitor and without having the burn-in fear in your mind. So I'm gonna take you guys through these settings. First, we have to do one in the TV. And before I get into that, I really wanna thank you guys for subscribing to my channel and keep supporting like this. Really, that motivates me to keep making the valuable content for you guys. So really appreciate that. Now, without any further delay, let's just go to the settings. So what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to hit this input button on your remote control. So right here in the middle, in between Netflix and Amazon Prime Video, hit that button and you will be able to get to this home dashboard. When you're here at the home dashboard, right now my PC is connected to the HDMI 3. But you see it right here, it just shows the HDMI symbol. We have to change it to PC. So we'll go here, right above in the middle icon here for the settings, and we'll go to the edit. And we're gonna head down to the HDMI 3 because this is where my PC is connected. So if your PC is connected to any other HDMI, you have to go to that particular HDMI and click on this symbol right here. As soon as you do that, you'll have a list of devices here. So you may want to go to the PC right here, click on it and save and exit. So now you guys can see that it is showing the HDMI 3 as PC connected as my HDMI 1, that is my Xbox One connected. So make sure you do all of that. So now I'm gonna click on it and go to the HDMI and do some settings that you should be doing actually for uh, when you're using it as a PC. Because see right now at the desktop, I have all these icons here. Then I have a static right here, um, the taskbar which is gonna keep showing up, you know, like all the time when I'm using the computer. So we, might, we may wanna get rid of these icons first of all, and then we have to hide the taskbar. And also you see this wallpaper right here. So if your computer stays on this wallpaper for longer, I mean, I literally don't really care much because I'm gonna be using my computer. So wallpaper will be covered by something that I'm watching at that time or playing video games, but if you're really concerned about it, you can literally change it to a solid uh, white, black, or any kind of like solid color background. I prefer actually a black background because when you have a black background, like uh, let's go and do the black one. So we're gonna go to the solid color and see the black. So this is the best thing about OLED. Like it's not utilizing any energy right now when you're on the black wallpaper and uh, also like there are zero chances of having burning. So the second step that we wanna do is hide these icons from the desktop. So show desktop icons, we're gonna click on that, they're gone. Now the last one we have to do is the taskbar. Right click on it and we're gonna go to the taskbar settings and we are going to hide the taskbar. And I'm gonna exit out of this. Okay. So now if you look at the screen, besides this cursor, you don't see anything. So it seems like the TV is completely powered off. So this is the best thing about OLED. So when there's nothing on the screen and it's just the solid black wallpaper, you can't really tell that whether the TV is on or off because right now all of the pixels, the individual pixels, are powered off because there's no, nothing to display on the screen, it's just the black wallpaper. So you know how OLED works? It just has individual pixels controlled and then when there's a black wallpaper, it's not actually utilizing any energy right now and there's nothing on the display even though there's a black wallpaper. So if you have set it up like this, there's zero chances if you leave your computer like this for like 10 hours, eight hours, 20 hours, you're never gonna have the burn-in. So, now if you go here, you have your taskbar and you can do your stuff and it's just gonna hide, you know? And if you really want your desktop icons, you can just go and click here and you get them back. But this is a really clean now here, right? 
So this, now we're gonna have to go and do some settings to take advantage of this TV's 120Hz, 4K 120Hz. So I'm gonna go to the NVIDIA settings right now. So in NVIDIA settings, you can see that it is displaying 4K at 60Hz and I don't have any other options. So right now I'm using NVIDIA RTX 2020, 2080 Ti. So 2080 Ti is the top level in the RTX series. It can support up to uh, 240 Hertz easily. And this monitor can support at least 120 Hertz 4K, but I don't see that, right? So what I have to do is that I have to change the resolution to a PC resolution because right now it is connected to Ultra HD, HD like a TV. So I have to go to the PC resolutions right here and I have to click on the second one 3840 by 2160. See voila I have now 120 hertz and 100 hertz so I can click on 120 hertz and click apply and yes and also you can see that it's Nvidia card so G-Sync is enabled for this TV so this LG model supports the G-Sync from NVIDIA as you can see that it is enabled already. So there are a couple of things that I wanted to make sure of working. So I went ahead and checked the resolution. It was 60 Hertz, not the 120 Hertz. So I figured out you have to change it to the PC resolutions so you can get the advantage of 120 Hertz. Also, you can go 1440p, but I wouldn't do that because it already supports um, 4K at 120 Hertz. So I'll keep it that way. And now I want to show you like how these settings works uh, when I'm going to play Modern Warfare. So in the Modern Warfare, now I'll be able to get 120 Hertz in the display settings. Before, it was just locked at 60 Hertz because this monitor was set at uh, this TV actually as monitor set as the 4K 60 Hertz. But now it is properly set up as 4k at 120 hertz so if you want to take advantage of this tv and you want to use all the features that it has make sure you do these settings if you're using it with a with a gaming pc and um, you'll be able to get the 4k at 120 hertz i have the call of duty modern warfare uh, display settings in one of my other videos where i did the g-sync comparison so if you want to see that, you guys can head down to my channel and look for the video where I did the gameplay for the for the NVIDIA GTX uh, with the G-Sync. Then I upgraded my card to NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti and it is best. I'm getting about 130, 140 frames per second if I'm playing 1440p resolution ultra settings. And if I'm playing 4K ultra settings, I'm getting constant rates of about like 60, 60 frames per second, 4K 60 frames per second. But I would prefer to downgrade my resolution to maybe 1440p and get advantage of that 120 hertz and play 130, 140 FPS. Okay, now we're gonna go to the options and head down to the graphics. And you can see that 120 hertz is showing here because now this TV is enabled to do the 120 hertz gaming. So my screen refresh rate is now 120. Before it was just 60. So this is all from this video guys. This is my PC settings. If you have anything else that you wanna share, please go in the comment section and let me know what settings do you do on your gaming PC. I'll see you guys in another video because I'm gonna drop maybe three or four more videos this weekend. And uh, I really appreciate guys if you can subscribe to my channel and peace out, have a nice, great weekend.